Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. So in this video, I am going to share with you how I color in this uh, beehive and this or oh, not honeycomb. I would say honeycomb sort of thing. Yeah, beehive honeycomb. Uh, and and this book is taken from uh, no other than Rooms of Wonder by Johanna Busford. I'm coloring in the UK edition. So. The colors I'll be using will be like um, canary yellow, uh, lemon yellow, mm, uh, yellow ochre, uh, golden rod, pumpkin orange, and uh, not black raspberry, sorry. <laughs> Rock, took the wrong pencil. Sienna brown, mm. chocolate, sepia, and good old black. Where's my black? Yeah. So these are the colors which I'll be using. Probably not all in oh and white. Sorry, and white. I forgot. Good old white and Tuscan red. Yeah. Probably not all these colors in one section here, but. Uh, more or less those colors uh, yeah so I'm gonna start off with um, canary yellow so I'm gonna color this section here so I'm just going to randomly color I'm going to dust off some dust which uh, you know Prisma color has got a lot of dust I'm gonna uh, try to zoom you in see this section yeah <coughs> So I'm going to use canary yellow. Just to color in the base of the, you know, the honeycomb. Just very, very lightly random. Uh, maybe this one, you know, I do it. Um, just one section here. Yeah, just leave it one section here. So, just I'm just going to leave white spots here and there. Yeah. So, this is one section here. One gooey section. Then, I would uh, color over it with yellow ochre. Just very, very lightly. Just up, add in more colors as I go along. And... The more imperfect it is, the better because, you know, beehives are imperfect. I mean, as perfect as it is, it's, uh, you know, it's organic matter. So uh, you don't have to be like a very, very precise. Yeah, so I'm just going to um, make the shape out a little bit. You know, get the shape out. And then I'm just going to add in... A bit a uh, golden rod to build it up. Um, then I'm going to add um, pumpkin orange now to give it this um, that depth. This, you know, the color. It doesn't matter if you get out of the line, uh, things like that. It really doesn't matter. The better it is, if you get uh, out of the line because it's really organic. You want to get this really organic shape and dust it off. So now I'm going to add um, Sienna Brown. No, not Sienna Brown. Uh, Pumpkin orange. Yeah, then um, <clears throat> Sienna brown. Then I would, uh, what I would do is, I would just, uh, you know, try to blend it in again with the uh, canary yellow. 
dust it off first. Some dust off. Yeah, then I'm going to uh, go in with the um, Tuscan Red. Very, very dusty, but uh, that's actually how I like uh, Prisma Color. Yes, of course, it's a bit dusty, but I do like seem to like the... <laughs> the lay down better now so this is like um tuscan red and then uh, i'm gonna go over it with chocolate give it some depth here just a little here in the corner and <coughs> sepia bottom here And um, blend it back in with, um, where's my deco yellow? Sorry, I think I did not mention uh, deco yellow. I'm going to use deco yellow as well. So just blend it in. And white for the centre. Make sure I clean my uh, pencil. You clean your pencil. And from the middle, blend it in so that you got, it gets this... Uh, very nice, like, you know, the shiny glossy bits of it, of the hive. And this part here, I'm just going to go in with uh, Deco Yellow part here. Yeah, and give it some depth. I'm going to use uh, black because... You know, I went over it with, again with the deco yellow. So give it a, like how I did for here. Give it a bit of a black. Now it looks like a burnt honeycomb, doesn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a um, black hue here. A depth. And blend it in with the uh, pumpkin orange. You know, just play along with, uh, just pl play around with the colors you have there. And blend it in. It will work. I would call this a uh, uh, perfectly imperfect. Yeah, that's how I like it. And uh, yellow ochre. Let's blend it out to the sides. Yeah, and probably we'll do another. So I'm going to start off with uh, uh, Canary Yellow again. I've got one halfway down here. And like this part here, I've used um, my Caliro paint, watercolour paint. There's two colours here. There's two goals here, so I'm going to... Uh, Later, I'm going to show it to you. Uh, oh, mm, I thought I would. Let's see. Uh, maybe this one, I'll color in gold as the base. Yeah. So I'm just going to leave this out. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to color, use gold for this. So maybe uh, now we, we did this section here as gold. Mm, I'm not too happy with it, so I'm just going to blend it out again with a golden rod. Yeah. Yes. Like that. Yes. I'm, uh, so this part here, now where is the circle? Where is the middle glossy bit? I think I'm just going to do it like here. And here. Okay, then we work around it. Um, we will add, I'll add this time. I'll just go in straight with the golden rod. It's 
it's kind of a fun coloring in this Yeah, so going with golden rod in this section and then um, add in more colors um, <coughs> excuse me pumpkin orange Then Tuscan red or Sienna brown. Sienna brown first. Sienna brown. Maybe here I did not use Sienna brown. Uh, so this one I'm going to use Sienna brown. Blend it in with the deco yellow. Then uh, pumpkin orange. chocolate I'm going to add a bit of chocolate here dusty um, then Tuscan red Sepia. Now where's my Sienna Brown Sepia? Then this um, black. Then it back in with the pumpkin orange and go over it with um, this canary yellow. Yeah, so I'm going to use a uh, white to blend everything in here and maybe just use a bit more yellow, uh, lemon yellow, just to give it a bit of a hue here. And I did use, um, yeah, yeah, so now I'm going to use light umber to give it a bit more uh, depth here. I did use light umber. I forgot to show you the pencil, light umber. Yeah. yeah so just play around with it as organic as it gets. Um, and just uh, blend everything in again with the uh, yellow. Make it as rich as possible so many layers of colors yeah so hope you like my you know the how i colored my uh beehive or no this honeycomb so thank you for watching till next video the next video take care and happy coloring do give me a cheeky thumbs up though bye bye take care